Okay, Madam Clerk. Okay. Um, I guess I'm reading the announcement this time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. The meeting is being held in accordance with the Sunshine Law notice having been published according to law with a copy on file in the city clerk's office and a copy posted on the bulletin board in City Hall. Roll call, please. Yeah. <laughs> You're not even waiting tonight, right? No. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's uh, Council Member Battaglia is here. <laughs> Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Here. Council Member Greenman? Here. Council Member Sims? Here. Mayor LaBrosse? Here. Would everybody please rise for the flag salute? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, Liberty and okay. Uh, we're not approving any minutes tonight, so we'll go right to the city manager's report. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. <clears throat> Excuse me. Last night we had our Cal meeting, and I'm going to cover quite a bit of our redevelopment information that's all moving forward. Uh, we have the five year abatement on for tonight. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Two-way street RFQ is moving forward. Uh, we also met with 210 Main Street, the new owners of 210 Main Street, for pre-application meeting, uh, proposing 313 units, a uh, parking garage, three buildings, uh, all very positive. Actually, they're, they're, they're uh, realistic in what they're looking forward to, to doing. They're experienced. They are going to request uh, an area, the area to be considered an area in need of redevelopment. Uh, so it's something that's probably going to come before the mayor and council to evaluate to determine whether or not uh, the city will be willing to go forward in that direction, which I would highly recommend they do because I think it's a positive project for the city. Uh, also, we had a, a neighbor complain about 67 Rollins. It was a house on the corner uh, where there was debris in the yard, um, lawn was overgrown, uh, and it was thought that the city's DPW had... Uh, had done the cleanup there. I cleaned it all up and actually pulled everything behind the house in the corner uh, to hide it from view. It turns out that the bank who's servicing the house, the house is in foreclosure, uh, had pulled everything behind there. And our DPW was kind enough to go over, clean everything up, and remove everything from the property. So uh, I'd like to thank them for their efforts and, uh, and hope, hopefully clear up any misunderstandings because they did not do it. Uh, we also sent out the rest of the letters to board members who have served on the different boards in the city, saying thank you for your service, and also welcome letters to everyone else who's going to join the boards over the next several weeks with new meetings and uh, thanking them for serving the city over the next several years as well. Uh, we also had a request from a neighbor in reference to the bus stop uh, 385 Kaplan. Uh, where I spoke to New Jersey Transit about this, and they're going to come in to speak to us about it because they're concerned about moving the, the location of the stop because it's a very heavily traveled stop. Uh, where the house is, where it's moved to now, the homeowner's complaining that it's, it's ruining his lawn, uh, the noise is impacting his quality of life because it's starting earlier and everything else. Uh, so I spoke to John from New Jersey Transit, who was actually here several weeks ago for New Jersey Transit, when we were looking at doing the... Um, transit village application uh and he was nice enough to say you know we can look into it and with the possibility but we have to come up with a reasonable solution so whether it's we can either maybe do a sidewalk concrete in, the, in front of the neighbor's house to preserve the lawn or to just move the stop entirely maybe a block up or a block back so we are we are exploring that and then the last thing i want to talk about tonight is uh, another money issue uh, in, in reviewing the the uh, the budget with uh, chief freeman for the fire department uh, we found another hundred and eight thousand dollars that we are owed uh, in overtime that would be reimbursed if you recall during the summer the hospital had a pump break and we had a supply of fire truck mm -hmm. between water pressure for emergencies and whatnot uh, so it was another hundred and eight thousand dollars that will have coming our way which I'll approach the hospital with this week I uh, found another bill as well for sixty four sixty eight thousand uh, dollars that I have to verify in overtime looks like that road to as well from the state police uh, for our fire department. So every week we're, we're coming up with a little, little bit more, a little bit more. And uh, we've also uh, sent out the two SRO, SRO bills corrected so that we look forward to payment. We were told that POs will be issued and they will paid right, be paid right away for the two months that are outstanding. 
and the 2013 crossing guard bill was compiled uh, by the police director and the traffic division, and that will be ready to, to submit hopefully by tomorrow. So thank you for everything, everyone. I appreciate it. Very good. Thank you, sir. Okay. Next order of business is resolution 1-14, which will be the uh, appointing of our new city clerk, Ms. Deborah Carlson. So uh, at, that, at this time, could you please uh, bring up your dad? After me, I, your name, I, Deborah Carlson, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution, I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of New Jersey, that I will bear true faith and allegiance, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, to the same, and to the governments established in the United States, and to the governments established in the United States, and in this state, and in this state under the authority of the people under the authority of the people and that i will faithfully and that i will faithfully impartially and justly impartially and justly perform all the duties of the office of perform all the duties of the office of city clerk according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability so help me god so help me god congratulations Thank you. Thank you. For the council, we welcome you, and uh, we look forward to uh, to working with you, Debbie. Thank you. Appreciate it. We're gonna do that now. We need a motion. Do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, resolution one dash fourteen. Deb. Yeah, I want me to read the whole motion, the whole resolution, or just. Uh. Mayor, um, all we need is the be it resolved. The okay. be it resolved. Okay, now therefore be it resolved by the mayor and council of the city of Hackensack that Deborah Carlson be and hereby is appointed city clerk of the city of Hackensack. Roll call, please. Uh, first, a motion. Oh, sorry. May I have a motion, please? I'll offer. Second. Okay. Council member Battaglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Council member Greenman? Aye. Council member Sims? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Okay. <clears throat> Next resolution is number 2-14, introduction of ordinance number 12014, amending news racks. Okay, now, this is, um, it's an introduction of ordinance 1-2, 2014, an ordinance amending part two entitled general legislation of the city of Hackensack municipal code to repeal and replace chapter 176 entitled regulation of news racks. Okay. We have a motion, please. Offered. Second. Roll call. Council member Battaglia. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Council member Greenman. Aye. Councilmember Sims? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Be it resolved that the above ordinance being Ordinance 1 2014 as introduced is now passed on first reading and that said ordinance shall be considered for final passage at a meeting to be held on January 21st, 2014 at 8 o'clock p.m. or as soon thereafter as the matter can be reached at the regular meeting place of the City Council and at such time and place all persons interested be given an opportunity 
to be heard concerning said ordinance and that the city clerk be and she is hereby authorized and directed to publish said ordinance according to law with a notice of its introduction and passage on first reading and of the time and place when and where said ordinance will for, will be further considered for final passage. Okay, at this time I'd like to open this to the public. The first or second? First? No, we don't open this to the public. No. No. Mm -hmm. Next time. Next, Next time, sorry. Until we get it the first time. The all introductions time. Just introduction. Yeah. Resolution, uh, resolution 3 14, please. This is the introduction of ordinance 2 2014, an ordinance adopting Lot C redevelopment plan for the city of Hackensack. A motion, please. I'll offer. Second. Councilmember Pataglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Greenman? Aye. Councilmember Sims? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Be it resolved that the above ordinance being ordinance 2-2014 as introduced does now pass on first reading and that said ordinance shall be considered for final passage at a meeting to be held on January 21st, 2014 at 8 o'clock p.m. or as soon thereafter as the matter can be reached at the regular meeting place of the City Council and at such time and place all persons interested be given an opportunity to be heard concerning said ordinance and that the City Clerk be and she is hereby authorized and directed to publish said ordinance according to law with a notice of its introduction and passage on first reading and of the time and place when and where said ordinance will be further considered for final passage. Okay, moving on. Resolution 4-14, please. Introduction of Ordinance 3-2014, which is an ordinance establishing short-term real property tax abatement and exemption, exemption programs. <clears throat> May I have a motion, please? Offered. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Pataglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Greenman? Aye. Councilmember Sims? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Resolution number 5 14, please. Uh, the clerk has a notice I'm sorry. to read on, that, on the last one. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> nope. That's okay. <laughs> Be resolved that the above ordinance being Ordinance 3-2014 as introduced is now passed on first reading and that said ordinance shall be considered for final passage at a meeting to be held on January 21st, 2014 at 8 o'clock p.m. or as soon thereafter as the matter can be reached at the regular meeting place of the City Council and at such time and place all persons interested be given an opportunity to be heard concerning said ordinance and that the city clerk be and she is hereby authorized and directed to publish said ordinance according to law with a notice of its introduction and passage on first reading and of the time and place when and where said ordinance will be further considered for final passage. Thank you. Okay, now resolution 5-14. <laughs> okay, this is a resolution authorizing the city to ex execute a collective bargaining agreement for the public safety communicators. I have a motion, please. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Pataglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Greenman? Aye. Councilmember Sims? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Okay, moving forward. Resolution 6 14. 14 is a resolution authorizing the city of Hackensack to apply to the New Jersey Department of Transportation for transit village designation. I have a motion, please. I'll offer. Second. Councilmember Pataglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmembers Greenman? Aye. Councilmember Sims? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Moving forward, resolution 7-14. Resolution authorizing the city of Hackensack to execute a separation agreement. For Stephen Lawakna. May I have a motion, please? Offer. Second. Roll Council call. Councilmember Pataglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Greenman? Aye. Councilmember Sims? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. <clears throat> Excuse me, resolution 8 14. Okay, is a resolution authorizing the issuance of requests for qualifications for professional services to the city of Hackensack. 
I have a motion, please. Walker. Second. Roll call. Council Member Pataglia. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Council Member Greenman. Aye. Council Member Sims. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Resolution 9-14 is a resolution authorizing the issuance of requests for qualifications for professional services against the city of Hackensack. May I have a motion, please? Offered. Thank you. Roll call. Council Member Pataglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Council Member Greenman? Aye. Council Member Sims? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Moving on to resolution <clears throat> number 10-14. This is an author, a resolution authorizing the issuance of an advertisement for bids for the lease of certain property owned by the city of Hackensack, which is um, various Green Street properties. I have a motion, please. Call for it. Second. Roll call. Council Member Pataglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Go ahead. She called you. No, he Aye. called. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> yes. yes. okay. Council Member Greenman? Aye. Council Member Sims? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? All right. Uh, listen, on resolution number uh, 16, resolution 11 14, uh, Deputy Mayor Canestrino brought something to my attention. There's another bill on here which should be pulled. Um, it's for DataWorks. It's I believe. for Excel Communications, the second bill, the 5373, didn't get pulled. <clears throat> That's the one that we're investigating right now. That's the one that there's, Mr. Dibb is under Mayor, there's, there's a, a thousand dollar for a survey, and uh, the five thousand, and that's the that's the five thousand for the extras. I could give you the the adjusted figures if you'd like to write it down. Yeah. Okay. So if the current fund changes to four ninety seven six eleven thirty one. Okay. And the total expenditure changed to two million one eighty six five forty two twenty two. Say that second one again, please. Two million one eighty six five forty two twenty two. It's a reduction. It's a bill for five thousand three hundred and seventy three. Oh, I'm sorry. O two instead of it's it's five thousand three seventy three twenty. I'm sorry. So the ending sense is O two on that one instead of twenty two. Okay. Okay. So. This is resolution 11-14. Correct. Okay. Be it re resolved by the City Council of the City of Hackensack that the bills in the following accounts be and are hereby ordered paid. Total expenditures now will be $2,186,542.02. Interfunds and transfers is $92,219.68. Okay. May I have a motion, please? I'll offer. Second. I'm sorry, who's second? Mr. Pataglia. Oh, okay. Council Member Pataglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Council Member Greenman? Aye. Council Member Sims? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Ms. Carlson, did the public get a copy of this version or no? Or I'll just make them aware of it. No. Um, what they looked at or what's in your packet has got the old figures. So the new figure for the total expenditures is going to be $2,186,542.02. It's a reduction of what's on there. Okay. Okay, at this time we'll go into the consent agenda. Okay. Um, the following items are considered to be routine in nature and will be enacted in one motion. Any items requiring expenditure are supported by a certificate of availability of funds. Any item requiring discussion will be removed from the consent agenda. And the consent agenda items will be reflected in full in the minutes, including any exceptions and or additions. That um, the consent agenda is encompassing resolutions 12-14, 13-14, 14-14, 15-14, 16-14, 17-14, and 18-14. Okay, may I have a motion, please? Offered. Second. Roll call. Council Member Pataglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor <coughs> Canestrino? Aye. Council Member Greenman? Aye. Council Member Sims? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Okay. This time I'd like to uh, open the meeting to the public, or I'd like to have a motion to open the meeting to the public. 
Hello, Walker. Second. Second. Roll call. Council Member Pataglia. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Council Member Gingman. Aye. Council Member Sims. Aye. Mayor LaBross. Aye. Okay, at this time the meeting is open to the public. If you'd like to speak, please approach the microphone or the podium and give your name and address to the clerk. Good evening, Larry Eisen, Maple Hill Drive. I would just like to congratulate our new city clerk and wish her the best in her new duties. And uh, we look forward to uh, straightening out some of the uh, irregularities that have shown up in the past. <laughs> Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Eisen. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, sir. Thank you. Regina de Pasqua Hackensack. Um, again, welcome, Miss Carlson, officially. And Happy New Year. I forgot to say that last night. Actually, I was going to stay home tonight because it's too cold, but I'm kind of heated about that email I sent you. I don't know if you saw it. Um, I have three feet of ice in front of my house. Three feet going from the curb out into the street. The whole length of my property from neighbors discharging water no way it's melting no way it's just a drain I, I think it's a washing machine honestly because it wasn't there last night it was there this morning there's more coming out now nothing is melting and if you park your car in front of my house you cannot get up my driveway i couldn't get my garbage can it was on the other side of the ice and there's three feet from the curb to, fortunately recycling was coming by and i asked the guy to push it in for me how is this permitted? I, I know people can have drains and some pumps, whatever, but this is what's being pumped, what's melting. This is the first I'm hearing about. I'll okay, I just sent you an it. email with pictures, okay? <clears throat> I'll and, take a look um, at it for you. Yeah, it's uh, it could I, be. We're getting, it could be. If I, if I may, a sump pump has nothing to do with melting. If, if, if groundwater will, you can still get, even my sump pump's going off now. You can get ground. You, well, if they're getting groundwater and pumping the, the water the out. Hill? A doubtful, They're but you never the know. Of the hill. Yeah, it's yeah. but if, if it was yeah. a sump pump, it would have nothing to do with the, the freezer. Volume, it just have to John, do with out the there. The volume is not. Yeah. It, it, impossible. I saw the pictures. It's impossible, mm -hmm. and it's three feet from the curb. Mm -hmm. You cannot park in front of my house. You cannot get up the bottom of my driveway. My entire. This is the second incident on this, right? Well, the other one was on the sidewalk. Right. This one's in the street. This would be. If I fell while I was getting my garbage? Can you tell where it's coming out they from? They have two drains. They have two drains in front of their house. But it's no way. It's got to be the washing machine. There's no way this is naturally happening. Mm. There's no way it's, it's a sump pump because there's no way there's that volume. Right. There was more coming out when I was leaving tonight. I couldn't get a picture because it was dark. But You actually see it discharging? Their car is parked in front of but they have two, two drains in front of their house. I don't know how they got the permits because when they did the second one, they didn't have a permit for the work they were doing. So I called the building department and I got a summons for my sidewalk. My neighbor got a summons for a sidewalk. The neighbors across the street got summons for their sidewalk because I called the building department because they were doing work without a permit. That's how the building department would work. If you made them come out, they would give everybody in the block a summons, okay? This was uh, a year ago, I think. Um, and they now have two drains that they're at the top of the hill that discharge and the amount of ice it's it's if I fell I'd be suing you okay I'd be suing the city because it's in the street and it's being permitted to discharge in the street somehow somehow and it's only in front of my house because it freezes up right away it doesn't go all the way down there's a, a sewer down further it doesn't reach there because it's frozen. So how can, I, I don't understand how this could be happening unless it's a washing machine, unless he's melting the snow in the backyard and putting it in the drain, I don't know. But you, we can't park in front of our house because we can't get to our house. We have to walk two houses down to walk up a driveway. Please, I'll just want to check it out for you. Okay, I sent you pictures um, to the AOL email, not to the city one. Okay. <laughs> okay, but I, w I would just, been home in my pajamas if it wasn't. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, 
Yeah, one more thing. I'm sorry. I re I also sent it, put this in the email. Do you have it there? I reported it three one to the three one one app. Mm hmm. And I immediately got it re got an answer back that my uh, request was closed. Are we not using that three one one app anymore? We will look into that. Uh, immediately, I got back, like right after I reported it with the pictures. Your request is Can closed. You look into that also tomorrow, yes. Anthony. Thank you. That's not natural. And it's only in front of my house. I'm being dumped on, literally, being dumped on. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Show and tell. Mm -hmm. Show and tell. Hi, good evening and happy new year again and welcome again to Debbie and congratulations and welcome to Hackensack. I know you're going to do a good job because you haven't done it in the past. Um, I was very impressed by name, Kathleen Salvo, sorry, Hackensack, <laughs> Hudson Street, no address. Um, I was very impressed with last night's meeting. Uh, I know that this group is going to move on, move forward with the transient village and all the good things that are going to be happening. Um, I also... Um, would like to know if there's going to be any uh, criteria or any governing body or any group that's going to um, overhaul, overlook the entire project so we have some kind of common denominator, some kind of aesthetics, so it's not eclectic like it is now. I mean, every town usually has like a theme. They have the buildings all have to be a certain height, a certain um, guideline to the sidewalk. Um, certain color awnings, like, like you know, on the Hudson Street has blue, orange, gold. I mean, it's like everything mixed mm -hmm. up. Some kind of common denominator that would, would make it look, you know, symmetrically good right. and aesthetically good. And just if there is a committee that we could do, like, all the same lights or have all the same doorways or some kind of a, a uniformity. You know, when they submit the plan, who will there be an overseer there's, to make sure? There's a... Uh, Part of the rehabilitation plan is a streetscape. So there's criteria that has to be followed as they go along to meet when, when they adopted the plan to give when you when you go for the downtown look so everything mm. is uniform, certain type of lights, so it's not a hodgepodge. It, it well, streets for together. streetscaping like we did on Hudson Street usually applies to the benches and the, the, the right of way and, and, the, and the lights, but I'm talking about the facades of the building. The, the facades, we didn't have a general The facade theme? of the building, the first three stories of the buildings, any build, the first three stories of any building that goes up all have to meet the criteria of a certain type of construction, uh, high-end construction. All uh, like and kind lighting, um, the sidewalks themselves on new buildings all have to be widened to 18 feet right. That's to uh, allow setbacks, for right. setbacks. setbacks. Yeah, but I'm talking um, about, do we have a theme like the Botany Village does? or Even even the buildings, the higher buildings as they go up, you can't have like, a, a, if a 14 stories is allowable, for instance, you can't have 14 stories go straight up. It has to step back and have setbacks so it doesn't right. give a that, canyon look. Yeah, yeah. That's that all. I understand. That, that's I, will, I will get you a copy of the, the yeah, rehabilitation yeah, no, plan because it's all in there. It's yeah. in there. No, no, I know about the setbacks, but all we have, do we have a theme? For example, if we're keeping the 210 Main Street, right. that's the turn of the century, uh, like Art Deco facade of a building. Right. Are we going to keep with that or are we going to integrate like a modern building with, you know, like uh, stainless steel or... That's what are we going to have certain criteria? A lot, a lot of the, the design period? is in, actually in the rehab plan. If if the, the was presented to the public two two almost three years ago, so I'll, I'll get I'll okay, give you a so copy there is, of that there plan is a and you'll see. It. There yes, is there's a, a whole there's yep. a criteria that the developer has to meet when they come okay, in that's right. tied so to that plan. So it's not going to be hodgepodge and no, 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 that, that, no. They have they to describe. everything right. has to be like in kind from one end of Main Street to the other. Right, and I was very impressed with going back to two ways on Main mm -hmm. Street, which would be really good. Um, I have a problem with the trucks because they think they could tear down things, right. you know, because it's north. And when they head north, they just go. So by making it two ways, it's going to be hard to navigate an 18-wheeler. It's going to uh, force them onto River Road. Well, they're supposed to, but nobody enforces it. It says truck route, River Road, right, right up Main Street. Right. Once, they, once they pass my building and, and they do not make a right on River Road, they're going up Main Street. It'll, it'll totally the change the traffic, the traffic is, flow. the is bad, too, because the weight of the truck. 
Right. So we need to keep those 18 wheelers and <clears throat> all the other trucks off of Main Street. And I think by making it two ways, it's going to be kind of hard to navigate it. Even, right now, even for the way it's set up, the way the plan is set up, even deliveries will be, probably be limited to smaller vehicles. There'll be loading areas set up um, for the loading and un unloading of trucks. How about the backs of the building? Could that be done in the back? Well, some of them, if it's available, yeah, but some don't have that availability. Okay, so. and the other thing that, that, that impressed me was the little inserts for the bus stop. So if the bus were to stop, like we did in front of mm -hmm. the administration building, it has a little cutaway. Right. So the bus stops and the, and the, and the uh, traffic, traffic is allowed flow. to proceed you know, right. north or south right. um, without obstructing you know, the flow of traffic. Mm -hmm. So um, I thought that meeting last night was very productive. And the transient village with the bus stop, I thought that was a very good idea. And um, to come out tonight, to get all these people out tonight, was, we, we really support you and I'm behind of all the, the hard work that you have to have ahead of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Anybody else like to speak? Seeing none, may I get a motion to close the meeting to the public? <coughs> Call for it. Second. Roll call. Council Member Pataglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. <laughs> Council Member Greenman? Aye. Council Member Sims? Aye. Mayor LaBros? Aye. <laughs> okay, at this time, uh, would you please announce that we need to go into closed session for a short amount of time? Thank you. Okay, we have a resolution calling for an executive meeting of the City Council for the following purposes. Whereas the mayor and council of the city of Hackensack deem it necessary to discuss certain actions under section 7B7 and 7B8 of the Open Public Meetings Act, which pertains to matters falling within attorney-client privilege and personnel matters concerning the employment of a current or prospective public employee. Whereas the discussion more specifically involves litigation and personnel issues, which may or may not include various disciplinary matters. Now therefore be it resolved that the mayor and council of the city of Hackensack deem it necessary to exclude the public from this discussion. The outcome of the discussion will be disclosed within 90 days or at such time as the interests of the city do not require confidentiality. Pending litigation as of 1-7-2014 and or personnel. Okay, I have a motion please to go into closed session. Offer. Second. Second. Roll call. Council Member Battaglia. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Council Member Greenman. Aye. Council Member Sims. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Okay. Um, before that, is there any uh, comments from the council? All the public well, still the here? The only thing, congratulations again, Debbie. You mm -hmm. know, and thank you for you guys for coming and Happy New Year. Okay. I'll echo his sentiments. We're very happy to have you, Debbie. We're going to keep you very busy. <laughs> um, but hopefully it'll be a pleasant experience for you. And we look forward to lots of great things uh, in the future for Hackensack. I think we're going to have a very exciting year. A couple of folks tonight referenced last night's meeting. Uh, we talked about a lot of new and innovative ways of looking at doing redevelopment in the town. And I'd like to let everyone know that we've had you know lots of interest, lots of developers interested in our town and people coming and very interested in, in getting involved in Hackensack, and that's wonderful news for all of us. Uh, thanks for coming out on this cold, cold night, and we look forward to seeing you again at the next meeting. Mr. Sims? just want to wish everybody a happy new year. I want to thank everyone for coming out and mm -hmm. for leaving as said, and welcome, Ms. Carson. Thank you. Ms. Green. Thank you. Happy new year to everyone. Happy, healthy, prosperous. Uh, welcome, uh, Debbie. Are you going to do well? I'm sure. And uh, thank you, Anthony, for doing a great job and making more money for us. <laughs> We're always welcome it. And finding new money for us. It's a thank great you. thing. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming. Um, we appreciate your support. And keep coming. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh Exciting day today, as uh, Mr. Martino mentioned, several meetings, uh, one for the, obviously you spoke about 210 Main Street, which is a, a giant project. It actually includes uh, the existing bank building of 210, the building next door of 214, and actually 214 Moore Street. Uh, over 300 units, uh, the, the term iconic project came up, it is an iconic project. That is their biggest building in the city, and uh, it, it's, uh, really exciting that, that that's going to take place. It's all going to be within within the rehabilitation area and uh, excited about that. We also went over and uh, had a meeting today on uh, 
a pr small project on Temple Avenue, yes. which uh, would add a nice, uh, would take away a commercial property and put a uh, nice residential property there of about 24 apartment units, high end, uh, very nice looking building. So hopefully that uh, goes through. That'll be going uh, probably to the planning board next step. Uh, you saw tonight a couple of resolutions, one in the transit village, that all ties into all this. Um, this is the first step in, in moving forward with the state, uh, getting this transit village designation. This is passing this resolution as part of it. Um, very important for the city of Hackensack if, if we can get this. Um, they're not given out that often, and uh, we meet all of the criteria I feel necessary to become a transit village. and. Uh, it would be a big plus, especially as far as development goes. It, it, it entices developers to come here. And um, we also passed a resolution tonight about Lot C. Now, Lot C does another piece of property in the city that's exciting for several reasons. Number one, the city owns it. And uh, we're making some money on parking, but certainly not, uh, you know, what we will be making if this property is developed, which we're sure it will be. Uh, from what I understand, there's quite a few developers interested in this property and uh, the more there are the more competition there are to get it and the better it is for the city so that whole piece of property will be going on the tax rolls plus it will still be a parking lot instead of being a, a, an open space parking lot there'll be a parking deck there still enough to take care of the bowler city and the hockey rink who leases spots still take care of the public and still take care of the residents in the building that will be going up there so that's a, a really great project for the city and I uh, want to wish everybody here and everybody watching a happy new year. Um, very excited about this last six months on what we've been able to accomplish. I'm very, you know, I want to thank the council and uh, everybody and Anthony and attorneys, everybody that's been involved. There's been a lot of hard work going on uh, to get where we're at and uh, very excited about the future of this city. So thank you very much, everybody. Have a great night.